this diy project is everything it really transformed how our space looked and felt and it was so freaking functional listen you're gonna love it hey guys and welcome back to our channel hacked by advance i'm sasha and i'm going to be walking you through the steps of how we did a toy storage slash tv console slash entertainment center for our living area to try to control the amount of toys that were just thrown all around the house if you're new here welcome to the diy family ensure you hit that subscription button below and give this video a thumbs up i'm sure you'll enjoy it here we're always putting out content on home improvement budget diy and sharing a lot of renovation tips as we go along on our own renovation journey in fixing up our home in Jamaica. Alright guys, so let's jump right in and firstly I want to walk you through what this space looked like before and um, how we were trying to keep the toys as organized as possible but as Royal started to get older and started to move around more and more toys started to come into the house trust me it was just a complete and utter mess half of the time and so we needed a solution to help us to control all of the toys put them into a central place where he can access them easily and he can also pack them up easily and so we scoured pinterest and we kind of came up with a design based on different pictures that we saw first what we did was to draw out exactly what we were thinking about or what we had in our head we went back and forth a little bit with the final design especially where the floating shelf is concerned or that it's an angled shelf yeah when we finalized on it we really liked it we used one sheet of birch ply and one sheet of MDF board. Now the birch is 5 8 of an inch thick and the MDF board is 3 quarters of an inch thick. important phase in any project is the planning phase and so before we started to do any cutting we made a note of all the measurements that we needed all the cuts that we needed so that when we started cutting we weren't ifing and butting about you know what what we were cutting it also made troubleshooting any situation way easier than if we did not map out the measurements before now based on our measurements we made all our cuts before we started to put the insole together. was done it was time to assemble and this is my favorite part of the project because I get to put something together we assembled this console by gluing nailing with our nail gun and also screwing the different pieces together this ensured that we had a secure hole we ended up using pocket screws in the side to ensure that we hid the screws and that we got a very firm hole For this console we wanted to give a floating illusion and so we used a base to ensure that it had the support and had the look that we wanted. Um, this base was smaller than the console itself and it just sits on the ground uh, to give additional support to this structure. All right, so this is where we are with the toy chest. Um, Rory just sanded down the back because we had this piece a little bit too big, so 
it was easier for us to sand it than to cut it because every time we try to cut this ply it kind of splinters up like this we've been trying to look at techniques but we don't want to risk it and the sanding was safer than to cut it so that's where we are we are going to stain the sides and the top and paint the bottom and we're also going to be painting the doors and we'll be putting in a support in the middle right here you see where that line is we'll put in a support in the middle um, and a separator and then we'll make four doors and put them on are about to start painting so we've sanded most of the areas that we can um, last night I edge banded this so this is how it looks now as opposed to looking like this so I need to finish right here but I'll finish that before I stain the entire thing and we've taped out the areas that we don't want to get paint on so all of these green areas will be black and all of the doors will be black as well Rory's over there wiping down the doors and then these shelves and other pieces will be stained so that's what you'll see us doing now painting and possibly hopefully getting a chance to stain the areas so I just want to point out that we have some nails hanging out down here and this is because we nailed it while it was sitting because this is the bottom so we nailed it while it was sitting on the bottom uh, when we noticed it we just put some more nails in the side but we do have pocket holes securing this to this as well as the sides to the top so yeah we got all out plus it's glued so let's go outside so it might get a bit noisy but this is the finish and I absolutely love the color so you know I have to find somewhere else to put this color in the house but the bottom the doors have been painted and the base has been painted as well uh, I'm going to have to put some edge banding on the sides I will put the banding on it and then paint out the sides so when I was painting, some paint got onto the side of the cabinet right here and on this other side it's worse. So I'm going to try to just sand it down to get it off and then we're going to do a clear poly on the birch so it's going to maintain this color or very close to this color. I did do a sample of the poly that we want to use. And this is what it's going to look like well the top one is the poly that I want to use the bottom one is a sheen or a glass poly and the top one is a see if I can focus this the top one is a satin finish yeah we love satin finish and you can tell the difference right there so I'm going with this one because it changes the colorless and um, yeah, it's not gonna shine. Alright guys, finally time to assemble. We start by placing down the base and then putting the console on top in a position that we want it to be in. And then we are going to be attaching the console to the wall for additional support. We're putting in this middle piece uh, to ensure that the top doesn't sag. And we're going to install a shelf in the left side so that he can put his smaller toys on that shelf. We will also be installing a L-shaped shelf. Um, to the left side and you're going to see how this one turns out 
again we're using pocket hole screws to attach everything that way we get a secure hold without seed the screw heads and i just love using pocket hole screws next i will be putting on the edge banding this is pretty simple guys all i did was to use my iron to iron on the edge banding onto the edge and then i use this tool to cut away the excess and ensure that it is flush with my edge and i get the same exact look as the top so it looks a lot more like wood than ply So if the TV isn't on baby first, it's on HGTV. Hey guys, this is where we are with Royal storage and our television console. Um, we put in a shelf in one section and we have additional shelving on the outside. Rory said this isn't smart, but I like how it looks, so let it stay for now and yeah we're about to pack all the toys in we still have the doors left to paint and install <coughs> these are the poles that we plan to use i'm very excited because we love them i think them look very sleek and modern so we're using these and um so these are the doors and we already edge banded them so they need to paint out and yeah that's it i plan to put a coat of poly over the, the clear polyurethane over the paint to make it more durable but apart from that we're very close to the finish guys all right guys so we think we have the hinge figured out but before we put on the hinge we're going to put on the poles to ensure that um we don't make any mistakes because of the way these poles work or how they're going to be installed all right so for these poles they're thing they're called finger poles and they're going to go over the top i will screw it in in the back um, so you have a little space at the front now to open the cabinet all right so we're going to install the poles first and then we'll install the hinges and put on the doors and we should be done finally First door is on and we're about to test it to see if what we did actually works. Rory, you're up. It not closed. I'm gonna think of weed, I'm gonna think of the hinge. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's supposed to be soft close, but you know, look at like the soft close at work. Open it, let me see. What? Oh! <laughs> Shit. Maybe you just need to work in. Oh, there we go. How cute. How nice. All right, let's go. We could finish the rest. We feel pumped for finish this now. Yes. Exactly how we wanted it. 
think Royal really enjoys his play area and he enjoys going in and just picking up whichever toy he feels like he wants to play with at a particular time. So this I would say is a successful project. Hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and see you next time and while you're out there stay safe